Hi Virgo, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your money, career and finance reading for November 2020. Virgo, uh, in the present position for you, I have the Queen of Wands. I have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords in the upright position. So I'm going to read out the Oracle card for you and energetically let you know what I'm picking up about uh, this present position for you. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Spirit, can you bring forward the meaning of the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Swords in the upright position? So what it looks like here, Virgo, is that you're having to make some very difficult decisions. And the decisions, um, now this is a money, career, finance, business, investment reading. It kind of encompasses all of that. I'm not going to go into each one because then it will become an hour reading, but just apply it where it does, uh, you know, what you're thinking about in your particular situation. What I see here is um, in one way, luck is on your side, very much so in the present position. But we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and it, it does feel here that you're stopping yourself because of the decision making that you're making it does feel here as if there is like it, it feels like you found a new way or a new mindset of wanting to do something in regards to money career finance or business or investment and it looks as if what you're trying to do is make a very decisive strategy moving forward. It does feel like you're very grounded in all of this. I mean, Virgo, you're very grounded to begin with. You're a very grounded sign. But you're very focused on uh, your independence. You're very focused uh, on what you can bring to the table in regards to your intelligence, your innovation and um and and this could have to do with a new idea or business project or something really really new that you've kind of i feel like there's something that you've educated yourself about and you're making a decision and you know what it feels like virgo it feels like you know what things need to speed up things need to go in a different direction i'm i don't want to be plodding along at the pace that i am at i need to it feels like you need to make a lot of money quickly and for some of you that is because that is survival and that there is a need there but for others of you it looks like you've looked at the situation over the last two years you're looking at the economic situation as time goes forward and it's kind of like you're planning for events that may be out of your control and so you want to make sure that you're sitting in a good strategic position should anything happen in the future that requires you to have um, liquid assets and streams of income, okay? So that's sitting in your present position, a very strong uh, present position that is very much in alignment with investment, future investment, um, and being able to build upon your wealth. I want to go into the challenge before I go into the spirit. What do you want me to do? No, they want me to go into the strength. Uh, so here we have the strength. We have the six of one. I mean, swords. We have temperance in reverse. And we have the um, seven of wands in the reverse position. Spirit, can you bring forward the information? Why is the six of swords the in the... Uh, sitting in the strength position, why is temperance in reverse, and the seven of wands in the reverse position. Spirit makes me feel here that, um, that there, there, was, there was a lot of conflict that you've had to overcome. There was a lot of waiting around. Um, so there's, there's a lot of defensiveness that you've had to come, come across. 
there's a lot of um you know and and this could come in in a lot of different ways it could come with um whoever you're partnering with whoever you know um if you're in a partnership with somebody of some sort whether that be marriage or business or even an employer um there has been conflict in how decisions are made and how things should move forward economically and what's sitting in your strength position is that does not feel like like the situation anymore it feels like you waited a long time for that to turn around and now here with the six of swords it says the end of challenging times things are looking up a welcome relief finding your way to a perfect place the end of depression or illness travel or relocation so for some of you yes there's going to be some relocating and but moreover it's going to have to do again i keep getting this mindset of new information that you have and how you want to move forward in investments and um stabilizing money in a way that that is there for the future whether you work or don't work um uh and in the strength position you're willing to do the work now uh and whoever is you're partnering with whether that be employer business you know that could be a customer you know whatever it is um it, it looks like uh they're going along with everything right so they're they're everybody's in agreement so this is a nice energy for your strength because it does feel like you've waited for things to kind of turn around financially i want to say for about a decade for some of you that's exactly what's coming across quite clearly here and then and that's for some of you and here sitting in the challenge position is the three of cups and the four uh the page of pentacles in reverse and so spirit can you bring forward the challenge here for virgo what we have here virgo is in the challenge position it's an adjustment to um living below your means uh turning around your mindset because that's what it feels like it feels like you flipped a switch and so before um you were quite um how do i put it nicely um i mean this is nice i mean anybody that does this is nice you're quite the host or the entertainer um you're never one to you know family events those things like that or let's say you own a business taking care of employees making sure everybody's happy um creating that that uh joy in your life cost money in the challenge position it shows here that uh that's going to be you've changed you've changed in that regard you're not going to be putting out the money uh like you used to uh to make people um feel better to be a part of the family to uh go along with um you know having good employee morale if that's you know if you're a business owner and you have employees but it just shows that you're not spending money and the challenge is adjusting to that because there's a little bit of guilt uh you're a very generous virgo so there's there's a feeling that you feel a little bit stingy and you're not you're not stingy at all it's just that you want you can see very clearly what you want for your future and you're committing to it so with the page of pentacles in the reverse what we have here the challenge is um not spending the challenge is you know taking something that is very low cost and um being able to tell yourself you know even that is money you shouldn't be spending so it could be something benign like going through the drive through and spending five dollars well before um your your set your mindset change it was like 75 dollars you know it's nothing but if you actually look up how many times you go in the drive through and buy something that you could easily have at home let's say coffee and you can make it better it tastes better it's um it costs you i don't know uh for every dollar you're spending it probably cost you a penny to do the same thing and so not spending is a challenge changing you know like because it, it's become a habit and so i do see you overcoming that though that's what spirit makes me feel is that the challenge 
is an adjustment, but I do see you overcoming it because you're very, very focused on what you want in this outcome, which is very, very clear in your mind. And when you can see something clear in your mind, you can change the behaviors that you need to change in order for it to make it happen. And here in the outcome, it shows the change of behavior. And for some of you, this is not an issue, right? Spending is not an issue. You're very good with money. Um, you don't overspend. But it shows here in the outcome, we have the four of pentacles, we have the eight of pentacles, uh, sorry, six of pentacles in the upright position, and we have the knight of cups in the upright position. So basically what begins to happen is a validation begins to happen. So as you see your uh, plan coming to fruition, meaning that you're saving for the future, you're creating situations that you can have passive income, once you get a tiny little taste of that, you easily slip into, oh, I'm guarding my money, right? I'm guard I'm, I'm creating this for my future and uh, the future that I envision for myself or my family or children. And I see you counting every penny that goes out. So no frivolous spending whatsoever. I see you keeping a uh, guard on, on everything that's being spent in a really good way though. And I see here that um, there is a, there's a boost in your self-esteem, your self-worth and the way you look at yourself because very quickly, Spirit is telling me here, within a year of you doing this, stopping spending on everything, living below your means, um, cutting out the waste, if you have a business, cutting out the waste, uh, not spending money on things that you think are a good idea if you have a business, but really doing your research and, and taking baby steps and not kind of throwing money at something, um, hoping that it hits. And so there's a big change of mindset in your energy for the month of November. And this could just be the beginning of it, right? You could be like, I do feel like you're educating yourself on, on money, investment, and it does look different than anything that you've ever done. Now, this is a money career and finance reading. I have to remind you that this is for entertainment purposes only. Virgo, uh, I hope that helps. I'll speak to you soon.